How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called Backspace String Compare and Backspace String Compare is a question that's frequently being asked by Google as of right now, as of September 2018 and then it's also being asked by Facebook so I figured it'd kind of be a good question to go over just because it seems like Google is actually asking it a lot right now. So it says given two strings S and T, return if they are equal when both typed into empty text editors and they tell us that a pound sign means a backspace character. So in example one, given the string S equaling AB pound C and T equaling AD pound C, we're going to return true because S and T both become AC. So in other words, we type the letters A and B, click delete, so B is deleted. Then we type the letter C, so we have AC for S. Then we have for D, we type AD, delete D, and then we, are, we type C, so we have AC again. So following the same kind of logic, um, the same kind of results come out for examples two, three, and four. And then just as notes, we're told the lengths of strings S and T, and we're also told that S and T can only contain lowercase letters and pound symbols. So we don't really have to worry about any weird inputs. So because a pound symbol represents a delete or a backspace uh, button being clicked, we really just need to remember the last thing um, at every state. So in other words, we really want to remember things that we've seen, and we want to remember them in a very particular order. Um, in this case, we want to remember the last thing most, or the most recently typed thing is what we really want to remember. And the thing that was typed before that, and so on and so forth. So in this case, a stack is a really good data structure for that because it's a last in first out data structure. So in other words, the last thing that I typed, or the last thing that I uh, put into the stack is the first thing that will come out. So that's kind of the data structure we want to use here. So let's make a stack. So this is stack. We're going to hold characters. Call it stack. Actually, it's, we're going to need two stacks probably. So let's make this called S stack. Set it to a new stack of characters. And so what we can do is we can basically go through, in this case, we'll go through S because we call this S stack. So we'll go through every character in s.toCareArray. And we have two options, right? So either the character we're at is a pound sign or it's not a pound sign. So if it's not a pound sign, we don't want to do anything special. We just want to push it onto our stack. However, if it is not, if it is a pound sign rather, we want to see if our stack is not empty. So we'll say if not uh, s stack is empty. So the stack is not empty, we want to try and pop from the stack because we're trying to delete the character. And now we're pretty much actually going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to copy and paste this. So in a real interview we might make this a function so it's more modular, but for now we'll just say t stack. And we'll say t.toCharacter array and it'll be the same kind of logic. So everything will be the same but with t. So again, if it's not a pound sign, we're just going to push it onto our new t-stack. Otherwise, we're going to make sure that the t-stack isn't empty, and we're going to pop from it. So now once we've gone through the two strings, we need to start comparing the strings to see if they're actually the same. So what we can do is we can have a while loop saying, well, either of the stacks, doesn't matter which one you really use. So we'll just use uh, s-stack. So while s-stack is not empty, we're going to grab the character at the top of the stack, so we'll say s stack dot pop, and now we just need to check if one t stack is empty. So t stack is empty, or uh, t stack dot pop is not equal to current, then we can return false. So if we, in other words, if we have a character in s stack and t-stack is empty, we know that they can't be the same, so we'll return false. Or if we pull out a character from the top of s-stack and the thing at the top of t-stack doesn't match, we can also return false. So now once this loop ends, all we need to do is make sure that the two stacks are empty. And if that's the case, then I think they're the same. And if not, oops, sorry, is empty. And if not, then I think that the strings are not the same. Let's see if this works. Awesome, it does. Let's check out the details. 
the leak code tells us that we passed 104 out of 104 test cases, and we're at about the 50th percentile, so that's not too bad. So guys, this is a question that's asked by Google pretty frequently right now, so make sure you guys know this one. This is how to figure out uh, or solve the backspace string compare problem in Java. If this helped you guys, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more of my videos to come. I hope this helped you guys, and I'll see you next time.